Angeles with time is 6.52. It's time for your morning sprint. Caroline Flynn, live at the Spokane Humane Society with how you can be in the parade of paws. And Mark Peterson says that it'll be warmer than it was yesterday today. But first, local tenants angry with large rent increases spoke up at the city council meeting last night. People who live in the Westview Manor on Spokane's Lower South Hill say they were just given notice. Their rent is going up nearly $500. The new owner says it's for unit upgrades, but the tenants say it's unreasonable. Last night, activists urged the city council to pass more rules to protect tenants from this type of treatment by landlords. A statewide sting operation led to the arrest of nine men in Spokane, all now in jail on attempted rape charges. Twelve state law enforcement agencies working, rather, uh, working with Homeland Security conducted the undercover operation in which officers posed as 13-year-old children. Court documents say the men all had inappropriate conversations with the undercover officers. Some even tried to meet the supposed minors in hopes of having sex with them. A woman was crossing the street at 2nd and Brown in downtown Spokane yesterday when she was hit and killed by a Kootenai Health van. It happened around 1.15. The woman, who still has not been identified, was rushed to the hospitals but died from her injuries. A statement from Kootenai Health said, We are saddened to hear of today's event and hope to learn more as the situation unfolds. Mark? It is going to be a nice day today. We're expecting plenty of sunshine, a few high, thin clouds, but that's going to be about it. We do have rain into Montana, also into the Puget Sound, and in between that, high pressure that's going to keep us not only sunny, but warming as we get into the end of the week. Now, we're looking at today's highs being into the low 70s and upper 60s. If you're heading to the central part of the state, more sunshine and temperatures in the mid-70s. The seven days coming up, five of the seven, pretty nice. A former Spokane police officer convicted of raping a fellow officer now wants another trial. Gordon Ennis made the request in court yesterday. If approved, it'll be the third time this case goes before a jury. A judge declared a mistrial in 2017. Ennis was then convicted in a new trial in March of this year. The judge said yesterday she'd allow Ennis' request to move forward and would argument... Uh, would hear arguments during his sentencing hearing on June 15th. Attorneys with the Coeur d'Alene Tribe are trying to stop the autopsy of one of their tribal members. 21-year-old Olivia Pakotis was killed in a car crash Friday. Her family has asked the Kootenai coroner to return her body without conducting an autopsy because it is not in line with their tribal beliefs. The coroner's office has not responded to our request for comment. All right, you can be happy the rest of your life with a cinnamon girl. I only sing on air for the pads. Here is Cinnamon. She is up for adoption and hoping you will join us for Parade of Paws two weeks from, or I'm sorry, a week from this Saturday right here at the Spokane Humane Society. It's happening at 10 a.m. You can form a team. You can just come by yourself and be sure to stick around for a big party afterwards. Multiple types of pollen causing an intense allergy season in the inland northwest. Grass pollen levels are supposed to be high for the next month or so. If you have a bad reaction to tree pollen, chances are you react poorly to grass pollen too. Doctors say first try to treat your allergies with over-the-counter remedies, but if symptoms are affecting your quality of life, maybe think about seeing an allergist. Spokane City Council has signed off on selling a five-acre plot of land in North Central. It's belonged to the city for more than a century. The Normandy complex in the corner of Normandy and Mission will now be bought by developer Chris Batten for 2.7 million bucks. Not a bad deal considering the city bought that property in 1899 for just one dollar. Looking ahead today, Hoop Fest needs you at the world's largest three-on-three -three basketball tournament. Just a few weeks away and Hoop Fest says it still needs about 150 court monitors. Monitors don't act as referees but are there to make sure the game goes smoothly and stays on time. It doesn't require a ton of basketball knowledge and volunteers get lots of free Nike stuff including t-shirts, shorts, and a pair of shoes. Hoop Fest is June 30th and July 1st. Court monitors do have to commit to the whole weekend. Coming up next on Good Morning America, a warning for new parents about hackers breaking into baby monitors to spy on homes. And after almost 100 years of swimsuits and evening gowns, groundbreaking changes to the Miss America competition are about to be announced on GMA. All right, outside we do have, again, some blue sky, a few high thin clouds. Those are all going to push out. It's going to be a sunny day, but it's not going to be a hot day. Temperatures are going to be hovering around 70. The seven-day forecast really looking for uh, improving conditions through the end of the week. Temperature-wise, we're going to be in the low 80s. Overnight lows into the low to mid-50s, but showers over the weekend and a little cooler. And Kelsey found some purple. I missed the purple memo, so I found Aaron Luna's tie. There you go. And here we go. It looks We're great. There. GMA starts right now. See you in 25 minutes.